is Lucy Harler and I'm a third year biochemistry student. The title of my honours project is Bioinformatic Investigation of the Osteococcus tori Kinome. This was a dry project, so no need for lab coats or fancy equipment. Welcome to my lab. Osteococcus tori is a tiny marine algae originally discovered in the Tau Lagoon in the south of France. It's the smallest known free-living eukaryote and has a very basic cellular anatomy, as well as a very reduced and compact genome. These qualities have led to its use as a model organism in many areas of cell biology. More recently, attention has turned to the study of otorized protein kinases. Protein kinases are a very important group of proteins responsible for phosphorylation and are essential in every major cellular process. In 2014, Hindel et al. sequenced the entire complement of otorized protein kinases, known as its kinome. The authors of the paper suggest using otori as a model organism for cell signaling. There is a lot of data in the paper and on protein databases about otori kinases. The problem, however, is that material can often be contradictory or confusing. For example, the gene identifiers used in the Hindel et al. paper are not the same as those used on the Uniprot database, which are different, again, from those used on the string database. This can make it difficult to understand the kinome, which is vital if the algae is to be used as a model species. I used a bioinformatic approach to collate information from various databases to build up a more detailed picture of the kinome and infer functions in some of the kinases where functions are currently unknown. I looked mainly at protein domains using the PFAM database, protein interactions using the string database, and conducted blast searches on Uniprot to find the closest relatives in other species. I was able to classify many of the protein kinases and predict functions in many previously uncharacterised proteins. In this way, I have created a new resource in which all the information from various sources has been brought together in one place. By collating this information, I have also been able to provide new information, such as predicted functions for some of the protein kinases, furthering current knowledge of this important algae's kinome. The results of my study will be a useful resource for further cell signaling studies in Otori. This project has taught me that bioinformatics is an extremely useful and important method of research. It has also taught me that consistency is really important in science. It would have been a lot easier if all the different databases used the same names for the same genes.